Welcome back, everybody. Tommy Janice is joining me now, which means it is time for... It's a Tuesday with Tommy. Yeah. That's what it's time for. It's Tuesday, and Tommy's <laughs> here. And today we were talking about how you or other people can help each other out in the weight room. Anyone, everyone should be... Um, you know, it's, it's New Year's and people are starting to come into the gym and, and oftentimes they may or may not know what they're doing in the gym. And, and even there's people that have been in there this whole time and not knowing. Um, yesterday, last night I was in the gym and there was a young lady who, she works out really late at night because she wants to avoid people. And that's yeah. fine, you know, people want to be run by themselves, but she was in the, she was using the squat rack a little unsafely. And uh, she was she was walking into it backwards, and so the idea. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. So instead of walking forwards and unracking the weight, taking a step back and then squatting, she was walking into it backwards, standing up, walking it out, and then lifting and then walking backwards, which that can be okay. And she's been doing it fine without being hurt. But, but that one day she could go too heavy. It'd be right. <laughs> a little scary. Yeah. My thought. I, I told her last night, I said, well, think of it like this. You're fresh when you stand up and take a couple steps back, backwards. But when you re-rack that weight uh, the way you're doing it, you're walking backwards after you've tired yourself and exerted yourself. So do you feel safe walking backwards with weight on your back when you can't see where you're going to replace the yeah. weight? Yeah. So that's unsafe to me. And I think it's really unsafe in general. But. If That's you, something she probably didn't even think of. Yeah, she had no clue because she wasn't, she had, she's not been in the gym for a super long time. She's only been doing it for a little bit. And there, but there are many other things like that. And we see like these fail videos that are, tend to be popular. And uh, The one that's big this week, I don't know if you've seen it, is the lady that flew off the treadmill. Nah, I don't think I've seen that one. Doesn't look too good, but... Yeah. No, that, <laughs> I've seen ones like those that. Are, Maybe it's not. hard not to laugh at those kind of things right. because, well, especially on a treadmill, you really just kind of get distracted. It can happen to anyone. Oh, yeah. But it is so scary for a person, even if someone like myself where you're not used to doing weights on yeah. your own a lot, and you walk into a gym where you see all these, like, heavy lifters, you're like, oh, mm -hmm. man. It's I don't intimidating. Want to go over there. It's yeah. intimidating. People are afraid to ask for help. Sometimes they're just too prideful to ask for help. And you feel like they're, you're going to be judged, even though. Right, you're exactly. Gonna, Many people not. think they're going to be judged. But really, in the gym, most people, I think in any gym that I've ever been in, most people would be happy and flattered that you ask them individually. And maybe it's not even because they're so great in the gym, anyways, but it's like they may know more than you. But sometimes people don't even know that they're doing wrong to even ask. Yes. So to me, I feel like if you see someone that could use some help, then say, hey, let me show you another way. Just be as polite and cool as you can about it so you don't upset someone, make someone mad and think that you're talking down on them. But help them and enlighten them and lift them up and show them how to do it. It's, I mean, I see stuff all the time. Yeah, and I can only imagine. Yeah. It's and especially right now we there's a lot of people who have not been doing anything and they're not sure what to do. It's it it helps. It do, and we can talk about it when we come back how so many new people are starting out for the new year where mm -hmm. it takes time to get to your goal so you need to gradually oh, get yeah. there and hope that people will help you out along the way. Most definitely. But we have one more segment so everyone stay tuned because when I come back Tommy will be joining me once again.